Well, here we go again. Hello, every kitty. This is your feline overlord from Cat's Rule Channel, and welcome back to Cat's Rants, the non-specific period of time, not a podcast, where I rant about stuff that happens on the internet, which most of the time just so happens to put me in a bad mood. Today, I can finally let loose and yap while feeling good about destroying someone's credibility. Talking to my rats today, as per everyone's votes in my community tab will be one of several individuals that has been harassing and defaming me as of lately. This person's name, as you may have seen in the intro, is Super Mario 64429. This episode of Pointless Discord Drama spans across three different servers, including the room's low-detailed private server, where Super Mario was reportedly banned from to my knowledge. So hey, if any RLD admins are watching this, hi, here's some free additional charges for you to put on Super Mario's rap sheet if you want to do that. What fun, right? Anyway, time to get down to business. Let's start first with the elephant in the room. The false pedophilia accusations that I attempted to address about a month and a half ago at the time of recording this video. I'll be going over a few pieces of evidence Super Mario has attempted to utilize against me, and I'll be more properly debunking every single one of them. So, sit back, grab some popcorn and a beverage of your choice, and prepare for autism, because this is going to be a fun ride. Uh, this is the part of the video where uh, it's unscripted and I just have a few bullet points to go over, so expect a lot of shitty editing following this point. Thank you, Post Editing Cats, for that information. Alright, so this video contains Discord messages from two individuals who have elected to remain anonymous. In order to allow you to differentiate between the two users, I'll use different color ink to uh, censor their messages or something like that. You'll see what I mean. Alright, first piece of evidence. Uh, I don't know if this is evidence that Super Mario himself is using against me, but it was brought up by one of the anonymous witnesses, so I'm going to address it because it is a valid concern. I checked the video, seeing you and your partners yourself confirming right and then checking the comments, seeing that you told people that you started dating her after she became 18. If that's right, then I doubt fully trust you both. Alright, so right off the bat, this does have some truth to it. I have known Cherry from before she was 18 years old for about two and a half years, coming up on three years now, and I've only started dating them around October of 2023, which is two months after they turned 18. There is a very significant legal and moral difference between knowing a person who is a minor and dating a person who is a minor. So, I say we keep that fact straight, alright guys? Alright, so the next piece of evidence that I know about Super Mario using to say I'm a cheese pizza enjoyer, because I don't want to say the actual word, is a out-of-context clip from one of my live streams. So, let's have a listen. Mm, yes, girlfriend juice tastes good. Wait, what? what? <laughs> Did you really just <laughs> melt your girlfriend and then just drink? Uh, cher <laughs> cherry soda. I'm, I'm, I'm. <laughs> All right, uh, this one's actually meant to be funny. <laughs> Okay, so for context, my girlfriend's birth given nickname is Cherry, so there's a inside joke between us both where whenever I'm consuming any sort of cherry flavored product, well you can see where this is going. What I said in the clip, I was hoping that people would in fact take out of context, however, it is Mario who has decided to take it out of context with malicious reasons, rather than for the purposes of comedy as I originally would have otherwise intended. Alright, so now let's move on to another point. It's uh, one which I sort of addressed in my previous video, but I didn't directly mention it, so it was kind of indirect at best. But I'll, I'll more personally touch on it here. And that point is trying to age guess people by their voice. I had a talk with one of the anonymous witnesses whose messages are featured in this video, and they agree with me. Just because someone sounds underage doesn't mean they actually are. For the specific case of my girlfriend, if you need any proof that they're of the age of consent, you can just check my last video. There's plenty over there. I'm not gonna restate what I've already said. 
All right, now to add insult to injury, let's also expose Super Mario for being the creator of an infamous message script that was abused by administrators in rooms low detailed. The messages I'm showing you right now are in publicly accessible channels within my Discord server, meaning anyone can go look them up as long as they haven't been deleted by their original authors or by server moderation staff. Well, I just learned today at the time of recording that Super Mario is actually the person who made the script that allowed these fake Discord and fandom messages to be possible. At least, so my sources claim. Now, last of to end off, let's go over the reasons that Super Mario was banned from the room's low detail Discord server, because, well, let's be real here, if he was banned from that toxic sewage plant of a server, oh boy, you know it's bad. The first reason Super Mario was banned from RLD's Discord server is because he's just an asshole, like, in general. But we already knew that, so I'll just skip over this one. We've seen evidence of this already. The second reason Super Mario got banned from RLD's server is admin abuse, but normally this wouldn't be a problem. However, Super Mario apparently went as far as coding fake admin entities in order to spread misinformation on the RLD wiki. And this went on until the developers of the game literally forced Super Mario to stop. Worst part about it, he feels no remorse! What is this man? Ugh. Sorry, voice crack. I- I need a hug. Alright, moving on. It seems like I'm not the only person Super Mario has incorrectly gone after over... Cheese Pizza. An artist by the name of Silent Bean, or simply Silen or Silent Dev, who also composed the legendary Electric Rooms Low Detailed theme song that I use in all my trailer videos for the Thunderdome. Jam session break. Alright, room's low detailed theme music aside, what not everyone knows about Silen is they're also a digital artist. And apparently Super Mario is taking their art style as an indication that Silen may also be a cheese pizza enjoyer. However, we have no indication of this. Rather, what we have instead is that this is more of a case of prejudice than anything else. There is nothing wrong with a person having an original character that is not over 18, although I personally recommend against doing so. But still, either way, puberty happens on average from the age of 13 to 18 years old. That's when female characters, or female real people for that matter, grow their... <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm not sure what came over me. Alright, all this aside, there is one other final thing that Super Mario did to get banned from the room's low detailed server, but I'm not going to mention it because, one, the subject matter is so inappropriate that it would actually get my channel terminated off YouTube outright, or at the very least get this video age restricted. And two, I don't have photo evidence of this one because it got deleted by the mods and people weren't there to see it and other things. There's a myriad of reasons, but I don't have evidence. So take it as hearsay. I'll say what it is in my Discord server if anyone wants to know, but just be cautioned. It's disgusting. All right, and that should be all I have to go over for this video. So, thank you all for watching it. What what the hell is going on here? Eh, I'm sure it's nothing too important to worry about. Well, that would be the end of the video, if it wasn't for more recent events. On the morning of April 18th, 2024, as I was in the process of uploading this video, I was direct messaged by a private contact with additional evidence against Super Mario 64229. 
showing evidence that he not only has leaked assets from rooms low detailed, but has been logging every single public server chat message and had previously inserted a backdoor into rooms low detailed. This is all over him, him being Super Mario, being pissed off that he got banned. Super Mario's atrocious egotist mindset seems to be unable to comprehend the fact that when you get banned from a place, it's because you did something wrong. This is evidenced by him continuing to falsely accuse me of pedophilia and gossiping behind my back about it, in addition to him planning to obliterate rooms low detailed out of spite. All this because of pointless Discord drama. Super Mario's most recent actions have gone above and beyond just violating the Roblox and Discord terms of service. His actions may be in violation of multiple federal and international laws. If this just so happens to be true, let me tell you this now. If Mario keeps going on the path he is right now, it won't just be me who sees them in court for defamation. It may also soon be Bugs or Noonie or any other developer of Rooms Low Detailed who sees Super Mario and his associates in court for copyright violations under DMCA, blackmail, invasion of privacy, extortion, and or cybercrime. As a disclaimer, I'm not a legal expert, so take everything I said in the last 30 to 60 seconds with a grain of salt. <sighs> okay. This all being said, please use common sense and do not harass the people mentioned or depicted in this video. I don't know how Super Mario managed to get these people behind him, but to those people, please reconsider which side you're on before you are rejected by the communities that support you. Alright, that's enough time travel. Thanks for watching. This is your Feline Overlord from Cat's Rule Channel, and I'll see you around in the next video. And for the first time in a while, which I'm glad about, I would like to thank my Patreon supporters and Nitro Boosters, especially those donating at least $5 or more, those being Distro1, Felix Kunert, I think that's how you pronounce it, and Starman200. Thank you all for your generous support, and have a good rest of your day.